guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I'm going to show you some combinations in 9 ball that may be avail available uh, and you don't even see them. So we're going to first start off with our 9 ball. Uh, so I'm just going to set up a few shots that sometimes come along uh, that you can uh, just perform yourself. Uh, so let's take this one ball, put it there. Uh, and I'll take something like that, put it there. So this shot right here is actually incredibly easy. Uh, it's hard to describe how easy this shot uh, is. So your natural intention playing nine ball would probably be to try to bank that, swing around, out of your cue ball, break that up. Uh, not only is that a very low percentage shot, there's a much better shot available. Uh, and it also is a two-way shot, which means you have two chances. It's actually a three-way shot if you think about it. Well, uh, in this case, you have a chance to make the one ball, make the nine ball, or get safe. Uh, so the shot looks like this. We're going to hit off the side of the one ball. It's heading towards the side pocket. Now the reason we're hitting off the side of the one ball is because our cue ball is going into the four ball, which will hit the eight ball, making the nine. And look at the shape you're in if you miss the nine. If you leave the nine hanging, your opponent cannot see the one ball, uh, and they're going to have to play kick shot. And Obviously it's makeable, but I'm pretty good at those kicks. That's one of my strong suits. Uh, but obviously if you make that nine ball, you're in good shape. So let's move on to the next. Okay, so this one, our cue ball is down here. Looks something like this. This is another two-way shot. Let's say we got this position right here. Uh, we can go ahead and just try to bank the one plainly, but look where our cue ball is naturally heading. You see how it's naturally heading over there for that 8-9 combo? You can at least, it's a tough shot, but you can at least try to use a bit of draw and a bit of left spin to get your cue ball down there to pocket that 9. Uh, you have a chance of banking the one. You also have the chance of making the nine. If you miss both and you leave this long shot, this is safe because you cannot cut it in the corner because of the scratch. And you cannot cut it in the side because it is too severe of a cut and also the scratch here. Uh, so that is another little shot that you can do. Uh, Two-way shot. Okay, so this shot, we have our one ball right here. It does not go in the side pocket. It is too thin of a shot. It, it will go, uh, but this shot, I think, may be better to shoot if you're particularly good at banking. And the one it is lined up dead center with the side pocket. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. It's, it's a bit just like that. So just kicking that ball, uh, banking that one ball into the eight ball, which combos the 9 in. So do not do that shot if the 8 ball does not directly combo the 9 in, or don't do it if the 8 ball is not even there. Uh, but that is a pretty simple shot. Uh, so let's move on to the next shot. Okay, so this one is probably the most difficult one that we're going to go over so far. Uh, so this is another two-way shot. Uh, we can bank the sticks up here, but we are using left spin to come off of this rail and to come back into that 8 ball to make the 9. Uh, so it looks just like that. So you see how the six ball is heading towards this pocket. Cue ball, that left spin is bringing it back here. Uh, the, you may say, why not just play this like the first shot? Well, the reason why is because although it's possible, there is a slight chance that you can just nudge that six ball barely and you'll leave yourself in a not so good position uh, even though there's a foul there uh, but 
Just play one of the two shots, whatever you're most comfortable with, whatever is the easiest in that situation. Just make, just pick the easier choice. Okay, so here's the situation. We got this cut on the one. Uh, we could combo the one eight, but there is a chance that we could miss that, leave an easy hanger. So we're not going to go through with that shot option. Uh, you could try to cut the one off the left side of the nine, make it there, but the eight somewhat blocks that. Uh, but the easiest shot and the most worthwhile would be that shot right there. Uh, so the way this shot works is this nine ball was set up to where if it hit off the six right, it would have gone in that pocket. So uh, if you just hit it a bit slower than I did right there, you would have been just fine. Uh, but it's set up pretty dead straight for the carom. Uh, those are more based on feel. Uh, there, there is some, a few systems, and I do have a video on carom, so go and check that video out. Uh, so let's move on to the next shot. Okay, so this one is another two-way shot. Uh, our goal is to try to bank the one ball on the side, but also draw our cue ball back into the eight ball, uh, making the nine. So this one is pretty difficult. Uh, if you got your draw stroke down, it shouldn't be too, too hard. The hardest part is probably the two way if the angle isn't right. Uh, if the angle isn't right, I would just 100% go for this nine because if you miss both, even though I didn't, I made both. If you miss both, Let's say your nine ends up somewhere over there somehow. Your run ball is going down table, and your cue ball is staying down here. So that's a pretty tough shot. You're leaving distance, which is a, it's a good replacement for an exact safety. If you get the exact safety, your opponent's going to have to play something like that, which is really hard. Uh, so go for that little draw shot uh, if it's there. Okay, so this shot right here. We got an easy 1-6 combo. Nine balls also over the other corner. This one's fairly simple, but kind of hard to control. See? Uh, so this is one that you might want to work on. So you want to work on it with a combo and with a regular ball. So this one, we're trying to draw our cue ball into that nine, just like that. Uh, there is also a little variation of this. Let's use one ball for this one. Say so there's a blocker here. This one is a bit difficult if you don't have a great stroke. Uh, so that's, that shot could work, maybe. Uh, but this one, we're trying to curve around that six ball. Like so. Uh, another shot that could go with this would be, say we had a situation like that. Uh, you could, you cannot cut this ball into that, into the nine. So you could just play a little, uh, barely tap the nine, it didn't fall. Uh, but you saw the shot, you can just play that little run through it's just basically just a ton of top spin. That's a better example of it with a better stroke. Uh, so that's just a ton of top spin to make that one. Uh, all of these shots are not too, too difficult. Uh, if you ever, I only go for these usually when I don't have like a, a perfect, like a, if I don't have another shot, if I don't have a good safety, I won't shoot it. Like a shot like this could work. All these shots can also work in one pocket. This shot is a bit funny. I uh, just kind of came up with this. I don't know. I've never had to shoot this in a match, but if you saw something like this, you could pull off something like that, making the nine. Uh, so just be creative. Nine ball is all about getting creative. Uh, also find ways to make shots into two-way shots like that. You see how I brought my cue ball down there. 
uh, give some separation between the one ball in case I missed. Uh, so uh, those are some awesome little nine ball creatures. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you can click the subscribe button. Then the bell icon right next to it, that'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the link in the description down below. I will see you in the next video.